look at me everybody. Kila mtu niangalie. When I was at home. Wakati nilikuwa nyumbani. Because I went for a funeral. Manake nilienda kwa mazishi. So after finishing everything they called me to pray. Hivyo baada ya kumaliza kila kitu wakaniita niombe. My family members. Watu wangu wa familia. Then they warned me. Hapo ndipo wakanionya. The chairman told me. Mwenye kiti akaniambia. See the problem with you bishop. Wajua shida na wewe askofu. Is that now you are going to pray in English. Ni kwamba sasa unaenda kuomba kwa Kiingereza. And that language we don't know. Na hiyo lugha hatuelewi hatuijui. Then I told him. Nikamwambia, chairman, mwenyekiti. 2004. Mwaka 2004. While I am in Kiganjo Thika. Nilipokuwa pale Kiganjo Thika. I joined the first church. Niliungana na kanisa la kwanza. And I find the pastor preaching in English. Nikapata mchungaji akihubiri kwa Kiingereza. But personally, lakini mimi binafsi, the, the highest I've ever attended someone's classics la 6. Kiwango cha juu sana kwa hii kuingia katika darasa la mtu ni darasa la 6. I know you will get ashamed but that is up to you. Najua utaibika na ushtuke lakini hiyo ni juu yako wewe. The highest No somebody wants to want me in Kayole. No, no, wachaka kusema hizo vitu. You know you are normally ashamed us. Kuna mtu alinionya kaya tu acha kusema hizo vitu na tu. My, uh, my, my husband in church and, and my friends then you are going to say it you are mtu wa classic. Sasa pasta wewe umeleta mume wangu marafiki zangu kanisani kisha utasema we ni mtu wa darasa la sita sasa mchungaji wetu. Sasa it it pasta yetu ni mtu wa classic. Sasa wanaambia just imagine. Et hebu fikiria tu. <laughs> yes. Ndio. I told them yesterday. Niliwaambia hapo jana. Classics kule quit nyumbani huko mwalimu pia hajui Kiswahili. Yes. Kweli. No. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh ndio kweli. Mwalimu wetu Anaitwa Kera Gwanda. Hapo anajua Kiswahili. That's the truth. That's the truth. No, I'm saying I'm saying pure truth. Nasema ukweli halisi. Akifunza Kiswahili alikuwa anatufundisha yani hako na Kiswahili imeandikwa kitabu lakini kutunga sentensi ya kusema vile atakwambia hawezi. So anaongea na lugha yetu alafu anasoma vile. For example, akitaka kusema akitaka kusema sema kitanda. Hiyo sema ndi hawezi sema. Sasa nasema watch ni kitanda. <laughs> Salme jirani ambia wewe acha bwana. No that's the truth. Wewe ni ukweli. Sasa huko ndio nilisomea. Amen. Kizungu unawekewa disk ndi uongee. No. Kwa nani hakuwekewa disk hapo ndani? Asizipokuwa watoto wa Nairobi. Watu wa ushagua ndio kwa kwa disk. Wewe jua disk? Una unahangiwa ukiongea lugha unahangiwa hapa. E, I love kile utachapo. I love tena kuna debate. Mr. the, the opposers and the proposers. And all those things I never picked a language. The only language I was good at was my mother tongue. Na mambo hayo yote si kwa ichagua lugha. Lugha ambayo nilielewa sana ni lugha ya mama. So I've now gone I've come to the city. Sasa nimekuja jijini. I'm just someone who I tried so much and arrived and reached at classics. Ni mtu ambaye nilijaribu sana kadri ya uwezo wangu nikafika darasa la 6. The only English, the only, the only certificate I hold. Cheti chu, kia cheti tu pekee cha pekee nilicho nacho. The only certificate even birth I don't have though. So so the even the only that's the truth. Birth I don't have. Hata cheti cha kuzaliwa sina. The only certificate I hold. Cheti nilicho nacho tu. Is Uganda's pastors conference. Ni cheti cha kongamano la Uganda. When the mega prophet were teaching and then they gave us certificate. That's the truth. Wakati manabii wa kuwa bwana alikuwa anatupira. God you have certificate. Shukuru Mungu kwamba una vieti. Go home thank your father. Nenda nyumbani mshukuru babako. And send sugar. Na utume sukari. They suffered for you. Waliteseka sana kwa ajili yako. So, kwa hivyo coming to here. Kukuja hapa. Thika. Hapa thika. This preacher is preaching in English. Huyu mhubiri anahubiri kwa Kiingereza. So I began to fast and pray for English. Nikaanza kufunga na kuomba kwa ajili ya Kiingereza. 2004. Mwaka ni 2004. Because I realized in Nairobi you cannot survive without English. Kwa sababu niligundua kwamba Nairobi huwezi jimudu pasipo kujua Kiingereza. So I began to fast. Hivyo nikaanza kufunga with my friend 
na rafiki yangu. Right now is an overseer. He's called overseer Dan. He's in Omhoroni. We are fasting together. Rafiki yangu ambaye ni mshirikishi kwa sasa anaitwa mshirikishi Dan ako Omhoroni. Tulikuwa tukifunga kwa pamoja. We were not asking for big cars. Hatukuwa tunaomba kupewa magari makubwa. Not beautiful jobs. Sio kazi nzuri za kupendeza. We were asking for English. Tulikuwa tunaomba tuweze kueleweshwa kizungu. Peni pasta. Peni maji. Hiyo dalili. Eh? tu maji ambie ni kweli. 2004. Mwaka 2004. No answer. Hakuna jibu. 2005. Mwaka 2005. No answer. Hakuna jibu. 2006. Mwaka 2006. I joined the ministry of repentance and holiness. Nikajiunga na huduma ya toba na utakatifu. Then I was at Asha together with him. Kisha akawa akawa ni shemanzi pamoja na mimi. So we began fasting and pray. Tukaanza kufunga na kuomba. You remember Mount Olives. Nakumbuka vizuri sana. And we were praying there. Nakumbuka. As we were praying there. Tulipokuwa tukiomba huko. That week. Hilo juma. I was raised as one of the intercessors in church. That was a very powerful calling. That's the biggest and I was so happy. You you are fighting to be a pastor. Please. As a chini. Hilo juma nikainuliwa kuwa mmoja wa waombezi kanisani. When I began to pray, nilipoanza kuomba. One day, siku moja. As I was praying in the morning, nilipokuwa nikiomba asubuhi. Intercession on one knees. Nikiendeleza maombezi asubuhi kwa magoti. Prayed, prayed and finished. Nikaomba na kuomba na kumaliza. I remember there was Pastor Muna Shah who came that day with the father. Nakumbuka ni mchungaji Muna Shah aliyekuja na babake. That day. Siku hiyo. So the Lord was laying people in church normally as the Lord normally lays people. Hivyo Bwana alikuwa akigusa watu akianguka kanisani kama yeye ufanya kwa kawaida. I did not know that as he was laying people. Sikujua kwamba alipokuwa akigusa watu akianguka. He had transformed my tongue. Alikuwa amegeuza ulimi wangu. So no 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 don't just wait. So Oja. as I was praying I did not know kumbe I was praying in English. Wakati nilikuwa nikiomba sikujua kumbe nilikuwa nikiomba katika Kiingereza. So then Basi, After finishing I went to my pastor's office as normal I was the one who was carrying bible for him. Baada ya kumaliza nikaenda kwa afisi ya mchungaji wangu ni mimi ambaye nilikuwa nikimbebea Biblia. So when I went to his office nilipoenda katika afisi yake he asked me akaniuliza Martin Martin So you told me you cannot speak in English. So niambiwa uwezi ongea kiingereza. I said yes. Kamwambia ndio. But today you are speaking in English. Lakini leo ulikuwa ukiongea kiingereza? No. Kasema hapana. I did not know. Kumbe mimi sikujua. Then he told me yes you are speaking in English. Kaambia ndio ulikuwa ukiongea Kiingereza. Ndio sala. Kaambia hala. I was speaking in English. Kwa ni kiongea Kiingereza. Then that week then later I got raised then after being raised I was called to go to preach in city hall so they can try if my English is really good. Kisha baadaye nikainuliwa na baada ya kuinuliwa baada ya And from that day up to today I am speaking good English than you. Na tangu siku hiyo hadi wa leo naongea Kiingereza kizuri zaidi ya wewe. You have papers but you are you mix past tense and present tense you don't even know. Wewe una vieti lakini unachanganya wakati uliopita na wakati ujao hata haujui. You are a university student. But look you cannot you cannot just make a sentence. Wewe ni mwanafunzi wa chuo kikuu lakini huwezi unganisha sentence. I preach in pure English. Nilihubiri katika Kiingereza safi sana. Kiingereza safi. And I'm, I even know some small uh, Spanish. Na pia naelewa Kihispaniola kidogo. No but paso a paso. Lakini paso a paso step by step. Paso a paso ni hatua kwa hatua. Wewe ulijulia. Wewe ulitoa wapi? Na wewe ulitoa wapi? El cuerpo del deseo is second chance. Wewe huyu ungetoa wapi? Hiyo wewe ungetoa wapi? Kama singekuambia, kama singelikuambia. The cross of Jesus is called la cruz de Jesus. Msalaba wa Yesu unaitwa la cruz Jesus. You are not aware of it. You are not aware of it. That's the truth. Ni ukweli. The blood of Jesus is called la sangre de Jesus. I am telling you. Naambieni. Even though my feet looks weak. Ijapokuwa miguu yangu inaonekana dhaifu. He is the one who strengthens me. Yeye anitia nguvu.
Once you have Jesus, mara tu kisha kuwa na Yesu. Everything is possible. Kila kitu inawezekana. Now look, you are seated here with your old degrees, mtu wa class 6 anakuhubiria. Sasa angalia umeketi hapa na degree zako zote, mtu wa darasa la sita anakuhubiria. Salimia jirani. Salimia jirani yako. Mimi <laughs> kwenda huko na degree yako. Mimi <laughs> kwenda na degree zako. Ni Yesu tu. Ni Yesu tu. Ni Yesu tu. Ni Yesu tu. Ni Yesu. Ni Yesu. When you have Jesus you have everything. Ukiwa na Yesu una kila kitu. Everything you need. Kila kitu unachohitaji. Anaitwa mimi Simba. You have everything. Una kila kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you have Jesus you have everything. Ukiwa na Yesu una kila kitu. He will make you go where you can you could not go with your own strength. Hata kusababisha uende pale ambapo haungefika kwa nguvu zako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I always like to say that story. Kila mara upenda kusema hadithi hiyo. So I can tell you how mighty God is. Ili nikwambie jinsi Mungu alivyomkuu sana. He can he can use anybody. Anaweza tumia yeyote. If you are here and you did not go to school like me. Iwapo uko hapa na hukwenda shuleni kama mimi. Don't worry now you are in a better school. Usijali maana yake uko katika shule iliyo bora sasa. The school of the Bible. Shule ya Biblia. And in this school. Na kwenye hii shule. Exams. Mtihani. Is only salvation. Ni wokovu. If you receive Jesus. Ukimpokea Yesu. You have received 100% marks. Umepo, umepata alama asilimia 100%. And graduation is the rapture of the church. Na kuhitimu ni unyakuzi wa kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Don't 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 don't, don't. usija usiaibike don't. Usiaibike kamwe usiwai. Amen. Amen. Sina sawa sina. Eh. Si daktari yako hapa. Na nani pasta yake? Eh. 